This is problem 31 of 33. We want to solve the following equation for x. Enter your answers as a comma separated list. If there is no solution, enter no solution. Log of x plus 2 plus log of x minus 1 equals 1. We want to solve for x. You'll notice that down here I first have logarithmic properties. I have the power rule, log base a of x to the n equals n times log base a of x. The product rule, log base a of x times y equals log base a of x plus log base a of y. The quotient rule, which is log base a of x divided by y equals log base a of x minus log base a of y. And then our change of base, log base a of x equals log base b of x over log base b of a. Now the one that we're going to use in particular right here is the product rule because this goes both ways since it's equal. So what that means is log base a of x plus log base a of y actually equals log base a of x to the y. One other thing that you need to remember here, if I have log of x, this is the same thing as a base 10. This is saying log base 10 of x. Okay, those are the same thing. So much is done in log base 10 that when we don't write anything, it's assumed to be base 10. So I can start off, I know this is going to turn into, since I have log base x plus two, plus log base x minus one equals one, then I'm going to use my product rule, and this is going to become log of x plus two times x minus one equals one. Well, since we have log and there's no base present, that means there's a 10. So there's really like a 10 here. Now let's remember our property of logarithms. So what this means is 10 to the first power actually equals x plus 2 times x minus 1. So I have 10 to the first power equals x plus 2 times x minus 1. Now I can go ahead and foil that and move the 10 to the other side. I can set it equal to zero and then solve for x. So I have 10 equals x squared uh, minus x plus 2x minus 2. Okay. Then that's going to give me, I'm going to jump down past this little picture here, zero equals x squared uh, plus x minus 12. It looks like when I subtract that 10 over, that does give me negative 12. And then negative x plus 2x is positive x. So I'm looking for what multiplies to be negative 12 and will combine to be a positive 1. Well, I know that 4 times negative 3 does equal negative 12. And 4 plus negative 3 does equal a positive 1. So this becomes 0 equals x minus 3 times x plus 4. I'm going to set each part equal to 0, so I have x minus 3 equals 0. I have x plus 4 equals 0. That's going to give me x equals 3. x equals negative 4. But we need to check that since we're dealing with logs. So I'm going to take my original uh, problem, and I've got log of x plus 2 plus log of x minus 1 should equal 1. Um, that's going to give me, if I use a positive 3, I have log base 5. I'm not base 5, I'm saying, sorry, log of 5 plus log of 2 is supposed to equal 1. Okay, so that should work over here to uh, Desmos, if I can pull that up. And let's check it. We have uh, log base 5 plus log base 2 is supposed to equal approximately 1. So I've got, let me find my log over here. Log of 5 plus log, oops, sometimes 
I don't quite get that in there right, plus log of 2 should equal 1, and that is correct. If I go back over here, I've got log of, now I try negative 4, so that's going to give me negative 4 plus 2, plus log of negative 4 minus 1 is supposed to equal 1. Well, that's log of negative 2 plus log of negative 5, and I know this isn't possible because I can't take 10 to any power and produce a negative number. So that means these are out, negative 4 is out, and we get an answer of x equals 3.